Oh hi and welcome to the Museum of Cornish Life um, and today we're going to be focusing on Florida and we thought we would show you some of our dresses and we thought we would also show you the route the Florida dancers normally come through the museum um, and then we'll share with you some of our souvenirs. So I'm going to be turning the camera around in a second um, but you can see we've popped up one of our archways because we normally decorate the museum with bunting and flowers um, because Flora Day is, if you've not visited Flora Day um, in Helston, it's an astonishing day. So the day before, um, everyone decorates their houses um, with lots of spring flowers and gorse and bluebells. And then the day itself cracks off first thing in the morning. <laughs> you need to be an early riser to get ready for the seven o'clock dance. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around now and I'm going to show you um, some of the things in the museum here. So the dancers come in this top door here and they come down, they come past our cider press and they're greeted normally by archways of bluebells and we always try and get some lily of the valley and we've got some here, some Flora Day dresses that are of a very particular period of time. Um, it's always really interesting for us, um, especially when the with the older Flora Day dresses that we hold, which often were generally either handmade or would have been made obviously by a seamstress or by parents. And also dresses often got altered um, and used. So this one is beautiful. It's kind of a dusky pink and it's got its matching hat. And then you can see this dancer obviously thought about the back view because actually everyone sees the back of your dress in Florida Day as well and um, when you're dancing through. So you can see it's got a brilliant back view. There we go. And um, we've got a beautiful hat. And I can see Chris is watching and Chris is one of our volunteers and expert in hats. So I better get this hat in. I think she'll be appalled at the way I've dressed this. There we go. And then we've got this beautiful blue dress. Um, and it drops down and I'm just going to lift off this hat without dropping the iPad so I just wanted you to see the neckline of this dress because I just think it's gorgeous and then we have a shocking pink dress and these are the dresses that are worn um, on Florida Day in the midday dance um, and this is a dance that comes in through the museum and this traditionally was a dance where um, in the past the gentry danced in it. Um, you know, anyone that was working and things like that. Obviously, if you were, were working in the kitchens of a big house, you wouldn't be getting ready to come out and have your Cinderella moment. Here we go. And we know this dress well within the collection. It's got these lovely bits because we've seen it in photographs a few years in a row. Um, and it was altered and put up. And then what I'm going to do is walk you down the side of the museum. The dancers normally take. They come down this side. And then I'm going to take you down to our Flora Day clock and our Flora Day. So we have here in the museum, um, we're not just all about the midday dance dresses. We also have a dance um, from the children's dance. I'm just going to open this up so you can see because all the schools in Helston dance and they have different coloured head, head garlands for the different schools. And we also have one of the morning suits here and the top hats, because the gentlemen as well dress beautifully. And if you see in these mannequins, um, we've got the lily of the valley pointing down for the lady and up for the gentleman. And in here we've got a range of souvenirs. We've got plates. Because obviously Flora Day is really important and it's quite nice to have a souvenir. And even nowadays you can go, the streets are filled with stalls selling things and you can buy your own Flora Day mugs, even nowadays. Got them here. And these often show the midday dance and I particularly love this one if I can get it in the case. And music's obviously really important in Florida Day. And we've got here a really gorgeous picture of the town band. 
and this is from 19 oh well it's hard to read the writing it says 1901 or 1907 but it's a brilliant photo and then on here we've got an illustration and we've actually got a coloring sheet of this on our website if you go to our learning pages you can color in your own florida route and then these were a set of midday dancing jugs made by a local potter and as we're saying, the music's really important. So we've got records. And thinking about music, I've got over here one of the a music box. And you can see here, we've got the music box. And if I lift up this lid, you should be able to hear. Now, I'm just going to leave that playing while I show you some of the photos from our collection. We've got a midday dance. It certainly looks as if it's from the 20s. A shorter dresses there. And they're in Lismore Dan Gardens dancing. And then we've got another box of photos here. the band okay. and obviously Florida this year is very significant as well because it's um was V Day as well um and we've got some photos of V Day here we go, here's some more beautiful dancers. So we're really lucky, we have a really large collection in the museum of photographs from all different time. There we go. And you can see how jam-packed it sometimes gets. Here's the dancers, you can hardly see them. There we go. Now I'm going to try and turn the camera around without switching you off. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed a quick look at our Floridian. Um, I'll come up so you can see more Floridian stuff behind me. Um, we're also going to be doing um, a session tomorrow where we're going to make our own pig dolls inspired by Floridae. Um, but I'm going to spin it around and give you one last look at the Floridae case. And we hope you all stay safe this Floridae, um, however you're marking it um, in your own homes. I don't know if you're planning on dressing up and having a spin around your living room, but we all hope you have an amazing time and we'll be thinking of you all in the museum. One last look.